Hi guys. All right. I need your help now, and I know you can help me. <laughs> I took this down. This I had attached to my wall, and it's what is it? A jewelry organizer, but I made it into. I believe I made a video about this a while ago. I'm sorry, I can't point to exactly where it is, but um, yeah, I made a a video. I'm sorry for my lighting, guys, but I made a video about how. I kind of transformed this whole thing, and I think you should do it too because it's such a good idea. If you have a jewelry organizer that you don't use for jewelry, if you do, obviously, this is not maybe not a good idea, or you can get a second one. But so what I do is I just hang either the ring with my swatch sticks, or you can just have individual ones, right, on there. I even have these. I'm sorry, I forgot what these are called, but these are two swatch. Um colors and things as well but our nail polishes <laughs> maybe gel too but I have them because I use them to like practice nail art sometimes or to swatch some colors as you can see so but I've had these for years I think I've tried to get the nail polish off of some of them and I don't you got to be careful with the heavy acetone and kind of trying to get the what am I trying to say get the polish off because the acetone will really eat it so yes, it will kind of ruin it if you don't be careful. So what a lot of times that I like to do is I already make individual swatches just like this and I coat them with gel. You might be able to do acrylic too. No, I probably prefer it in gel because you can always just remove with acetone quickly and um, just continue to practice on top of the nail, but that's what I do. But anyways, and then I just have some key chains. You can hang literally, you guys, anything on here so I have some swatch wheels anyways this is where I house most of my makeup everything is falling over craziness this is where I have that drawer is just crazy I need something else I need to get something else for for this stuff because I'm not feeling these drawers any longer but anyways I just have you know how long I've had this for I was thinking of maybe painting the drawers so they're not I don't know, so I can custom them a little bit better because you see how they get. That might be why. That might be why. But anyways, I'm going to have palettes in here. Guys, I need a different system. You see what I'm saying? Like, look, I have glasses. It's crazy. Anyway, so if you look right here, this is my window. This is where my nail area is. This wall and then this wall. Hey. <laughs> this wall over here what I did was this was over here on top of those units there I have too much going on that's why I need just one unit to hold everything if you guys know of like a unit that I can work all the way up to my ceiling please let me know And this corner is higher than that corner but I want just one unit because I have my nail table two of those I don't even know what you call them over there but I have two of those this house is my nail polish then these two were holding my nail stuff too and then I have that little thing there. And then all of this was in my shelving. As you can see, I cleaned and sanitized the top and all of the shelves. I don't know if I should put some liner here, that the rest of that gray liner maybe on here. But so what I did was this is all this was all on my nail or in my in the shelving. So I think I'm gonna keep this one until I get maybe an acrylic organizer for my wall or something better to help. How's all of my nail polishes because they fell over because I was moving up, but all of my nail polishes are in here. My stamping polish is down there. It's a lot of nail polish. Probably not as high as, as much as most people on here, but I'm blessed to have what I have. So listen, so see, I need like new, but I'm like that type. I'm like, if it still works, I, I'm not interested in like buying brand new stuff. But, and then my second bet would be to just sand it, paint it to how I would want it. You know what I mean? So you don't have to go buy something else. And then that'll last you a few more, excuse me, a few more years. And so maybe you can buy something new and get rid of this stuff. So that's the same thing for these two units right here. They're white on the outside. They're just that color because they have them flipped around. But so I have liquids here, right? And then I have this full of stuff that I want next to me because that's an organizer that I want next to me. But then I have these on my table. I have gardening stuff here that I need to put away. These I have on my table. I have all this stuff. Um, cuticle oils, nail polishes from collaborations here, here that I need to put away, but kind of keep them together. I have more liquids over here that I want to house together with these over here. So that's what I'm trying to figure out now. And then I have these three things here. These are all swatch sticks. 
So I think I'm going to get into my drawers probably with these guys over here. These new containers that I just made a video about. If you didn't see it, I got it in with some drill bits and my new, my new um, phone holder, my new stand. Sorry, I couldn't think of it for a second. So I think I might organize my nail table, one or two of the drawers with these guys. Then I will probably get some more of these to finish it up at some point. But if you can tell, I have lots of baskets. I do have a lot of organized stuff. I have gels in here. Like, everything is pretty much contained except for, like, some loose pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those are the pieces that I need to figure out. Then I have bins here, here. I think two of these are empty, so I can definitely use those. I have gels in here, but you see they don't all fit. And then I have foils down there. And then I think nail art in this one. And here I have glitter. I'm going to have two more of these containers here. One has stamping stuff. The other has glitter. And, yeah, and then I just have baskets up here to organize as well. These I can was thinking to get some sort of magnet board so that I can have this on a wall or something because these are magnetic on the bottom. So I was thinking to do that. I have this thing here that I was trying to clean and organize, but then I spilled something there that I can't get off. This thing I use for my pedicures when I do my pedicures, but I just have random stuff in it for now, so I have to organize all that. These are all gel top coats. I just want to dust everything off. I started to. I cleaned these things in here. These are polishes that I DIY, jelly colors, stamping stuff. Here I have my masks. And we'll reorganize all this because I have my little practice fingers in here. And But then I have stripers. And in here are all brand new top coats and things that I need to organize. I haven't even used this. 18 karat gold. I don't even know how long I've had that for. Um, so yeah, so I have plenty of bins to organize. This is my sanitation box. I don't think I have used it yet. Um, here I have more organization things, rhinestones. Um, I already use, I don't know where. There's somewhere around here, but I already use a few of those to organize my nail art already. Acrylic or gel or you can really use this for anything. I think you can put glitter in here, water if you need, acetone, alcohol. Have more organized stuff here so i have a lot of stuff to organize with i just need to reorganize everything guys because the setup that i had before i liked it but it's been a while since i've reorganized swatch wheels my display stand this thing i use for i wide you see you guys don't always have to go out and buy stuff this i use when i am i think what am i willing here's a little palette so i have a lot of stuff that i need to figure out i'll probably reorganize all of these then i have to reorganize all of this but i want all my liquids to stay together so yes i I have some things that I need to organize. Even my makeup, I think I want to take them out of these drawers and maybe organize them too and get rid of this probably. I don't know. So in the next <laughs> shots, you'll probably see me with a little bit more progress. So I'm going to get rid of these two things back here because they're really, really old. And yeah, but we're going to get this started. It's probably going to take me a couple of hours, but it's kind of de-stressful. I'm not going to stress. It's just one of those things that when you do it and you reorganize. I mean, when I was doing this drawer, do you know how good it felt just to do this? So... I love organizing, guys. Love it. I love it so much. So much fun. And my thing is, I'm not like <laughs> a pro organizer or anything, guys, but my big thing that I do is that I remove everything off. So I remove everything off of the drawers. These, like I said, are so old. I think I'm going to sand them maybe and repaint them again. For now, I'm just going to put everything back until I can do that, and then I'll probably take everything off and do that, like I said. But yes, these I've had for I can't tell you how long. And then I just have my hand clamp here. I'm pretty sure that I will move it. Then over here I have my lamps, my LED lamp. This is like an organizer, um, kind of a, oh, jeez, oh, a manicure and pedicure. It's like a nail base. And it just helps you to like do your nails so you can like prop up your foot here and it just helps you. Anyways, my uh, UV lamp. Then I have my wax warmer down there as I destroy everything. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm going to reorganize all of this and in the next shot you will see me in progress filling up all of these um, shelves first and I think I'm gonna start there first with all of this stuff do I need all of this out don't know maybe I can put some of it away the things that I don't use a lot I don't know but we are going to start I will keep you updated and wish me luck <laughs> but you guys are definitely gonna come along with me I have a trash down there those are I think geodes that I still need to you see we painted it with the wrong paint guys and now I have to repaint it again, and, but that's fine with me because I wanted to repaint it anyway, maybe a different color. Maybe do something really fun. I'm not sure. How funny is this rock? Super round from the beach. <laughs> anyway, that's so random. I know, guys. All right, I'll see you in the next shot.
Okay, so I'm hoping that you see a difference in the last shot. I had my floor and my nail area a complete mess. I have, I shouldn't say I, we, my boyfriend helped me because I think without his help, I wouldn't have been able to move all this stuff around. For the most part, I had moved um, a couple of the pieces of furniture, but then when it came down to like stacking them, I needed help. So let me just show you what I have going on here, guys. So these two shelves I was going to throw away. There are, I don't know if you can tell, but they're bulging a little bit. That one's really bulging. I don't know if I can find something down here to put under it. I'm not sure. Then I was going to put my, sorry for all the shadows, guys. I was going to put this nail organizer up here on top, but it just wasn't going to work out that way because that's really, really heavy. But eventually I want to get an acrylic organizer so that I can get rid of that and put my nail polishes hopefully on the wall somewhere so this is originally how it was kind of it's just one of these were with let's see i think this one down here at the bottom was down there and then i had these on top and then this thing was on top of here so if you wanted to see how my original setup was i do have a nail area video and you can go ahead and look for that i'm not done yet so this is what i have so far I have my acrylic organizer there. I stack these up here. I put my cup of scissors up there. I know they're kind of high, but I don't always use scissors. I probably should bring one of them down, actually, for my nail table, so I don't have to always go up there. But here I just have gels. I have a basket of unused nail, no, yeah, nail files, my hand rest. And I think that there's just, like, this acrylic. This is not acrylic. I think that's glass, like a little thing I was using to put implements in. These are stamping plates that I still need to review here I have masks and my practice fingers and, I still, and nail polish stripers that I still need to organize but I will do that eventually and then what I started to do is I wanted to show you I started to label so these are the tips that I'm going to use with the exclamation point I already sorted out the ones that I have for me then I have practice nail tips for me to practice on that I don't either have enough of or I just didn't like them they didn't fit my nail shape something like that so I don't toss them I save them to practice on so I have practice tips here and then over here I have UV gel which obviously I can stack so many more pots of UV gel in there I do have some gel polishes in here this is actually really really full I have to start a new one stamping I have it labeled stamping these down here are not labeled these are just um, top coats and things here I have more UV gel I still have to do a little bit of organization but I wanted to clean up the floor because I didn't want to leave this on the floor overnight and I thought that it was going to be a two-step or a two-day <laughs> project but I think I should be able to finish it tonight I might go to bed a little late but um I don't want to leave this stuff on the floor in the middle of the night we get up and have to go to the kitchen although there are two ways to get to my kitchen I don't want to trip on any of this so I am going to put it away and then here I have more UV gel, which I have not labeled these yet. I don't think I want to label these, but I can see what's in there. UV gel, I have some nail art down here, rhinestones and glitter and things. Here you can see I have foils here, um, stamping plates, sorry. These ones I have already reviewed, cotton balls, pads, and then down here is nail polish. So like I, so I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I was thinking to take these magnetic... I've had these for so long and what I was thinking was because I already have this I used to have like resin pieces that I used to make and I used to make them into magnets and then I like had them there but now I don't use that for the resin pieces anymore and I thought that I could just I didn't want to remove the magnet so I said you know what and I wanted to do this anyway I wasn't sure they, you know it's not the best really not the best magnet so if I were to put anything in it and you know maybe not glitter or rhinestones because if it falls then it might just open and just like that. <laughs> you see how that just flew? Oh my goodness. That just flew with just my fingers. So could you imagine if it fell and I'll have rhinestones, rhinestones and I'll wake up in the middle or in the morning and have rhinestones and glitter everywhere. But it works. I was thinking maybe nail art decals or I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to put you there, but I thought that was a cute idea. I also thought that maybe I could rip this down and install a heavier magnet. That way I can have scissors and maybe implements. But I don't know if I'm going to do that because up here I have my vanity mirror. Then I have this thing here. I ruined it with nail polish, but that's okay. And then down here, I just was putting my acrylic organizers and baskets. These I washed 
um, these two so that I could use them. But so if I back up, this is my new kind of little shop area. I'm going to try to turn this into like a little Miss A little, I don't know, makeup beauty area for me. Because I don't have one of those. And literally I'm in a corner of my house so I don't have a room, okay? <laughs> so you got to gotta work with what you got, you know what I'm saying? This I have to try to remove. That was like a sticker that I had holding stuff onto. Guys, I was going to buy a whole new unit, which I will eventually. But for right now, this is what it's going to do. Okay, because you got to work with what you have. So anyways, and then my boyfriend and I came up with an idea. I really want to put like the touch lights. Um, so I will eventually. I definitely want to put one up here and then one here and one here and then one on the bottom. So eventually I'll want four of those lights. So if I back up, you can kind of see what we did here. So we have the left side. The right side is going to be my little shop, little makeup beauty area. Then I just added this here to like house some things that nail art or glitter or things that I just have like the She Modern reusable stencils in there at the moment. Then I have all of this. This is organization. My gardening stuff, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Then I have just random things in there. I have to figure out decoration. Those butterflies I wanna put on the wall. Here I have more organization. Here I have more organization. Organization. <laughs> then here I have all this makeup and things that I gotta figure out. As well as organization, what I'm gonna do with that. And then my entire nail table top needs to be cleared off because I was just putting things there when I was clearing things off of my drawers. So these drawers I still have to organize. I have to clean down there. But we're getting there. Progress, progress. Then up here, I just have it looking like that for now. And then I kept these two. I was going to actually throw them away. I said that earlier in the video. But I guess I can use them for storage for now. For now, I just have my tripods, recording equipment. That tripod will not fit. I have my hand down there. i got to get her and attach her to my nail table. But I have tripods and phone holders and things like that in there. So basically, all I have left to do is put all this stuff away, organize my drawers. I need to get up all the organizational stuff so that I can organize maybe in here or probably these shelves. I still need to put all of my liquids and things up here. By liquids, I mean sanitizer, acetone, coconut oil, alcohol, you know, cuticle, cuticle oil, things like that. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Here I have nail polish thinner. But, so in these, like I said, I am organizing good storage because there's a place on top, a shelf here, and I went and cleaned out all of these shelves. This is already explained to you. It's going to house my electronic stuff. I'm sure that'll grow bigger in time. Here I have this little thing of monomer. It stinks, so I keep it in here. This is like for pedicures. And then... Oh my goodness. And the next shelf, I just have my lights, my UV lights. I think this light went with a kit, I think. Um, this is my LED light that I normally use. This, I believe, is another LED light. And then down here, I have another LED, excuse me, UV light. This is a small fuse, little mini um, LED light. Here is like a nail dryer. Or, okay, so this is not the point. My disinfection box. Disinfecting. And then I have my wax warmer down there. My microphone that doesn't work yet. <laughs> and a little, a smaller light for like my phone. So that is that. And then again, like I said, I have to fix this to go under my table. Just in case I spill anything, I have to put all of this away. Okay, so this is day two day two of my new kind of <laughs> i know it looks crazy so this is day two of me working on my new kind of nail area beauty area i emptied out this entire drawer they're all empty except for a few things in here that i have to put away and then my palettes up here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just have a couple of things that I still have to put away. Down here, guys, I started to gather things for my giveaway. And then these are just things that I, I'm going to organize with. I'm going to make a separate video with these organizers in these drawers, guys. I'm emptying them and reorganizing them, so stay tuned for that. 
this contact paper that I made my big giant shopping list on my wall with. I made a video of that as well. I am going to be redoing the top of my nail table. And I spilled sand under there. I have to get it. But this is my nail table. That is... I think I already showed you most of this throughout the video. But I kind of finished up really late last night, guys. I'll get into more detail if you'd like. I started to label things as I showed you. Sorry about the shadows. But as you can see, I started to label a couple of things. I moved my liquids over to this area. So all of this stuff I have to put away. This thing I think I'm going to leave here. It's a good little organizer, but all of this stuff, well that stuff is going to go maybe for decoration, but I have to put that stuff away. My label maker, my glue gun, and these things I have to put away. All this stuff here is going to go into these drawers here, but I have to organize with this first, so I wanted to make this video first. After this video, I will edit and then record the video with the organization for this drawer here. So I'm trying to organize everything guys all of this stuff I have to reorganize in there there's a whole bunch of just <laughs> mixed things these are that's my hand and my tripod two tripods one of them doesn't fit in my nail desk or anywhere so I gotta figure out what to do with it but I will figure that out and then it's so good because now this is all trash trash and so that's really really good because I got rid of a lot of stuff right and and just boxes really I just took things out of boxes and put them where I thought they should go. And then I kind of just DIY'd this little keychain holder. I really am storing my nail art on it, but anyway. So over here is my new area. These actually I had over here on this side. But I'm going to get touch lights, touch lights, I think I already said, or those, whatever they're called, those little touch lights. But I want to put one here on here. So I want to put one, two, three, four. And then I want to put one in that little shelf right there. So I want five little touch lights total and then so this is a new area for me there's my vanity mirror and I have just some nail and makeup stuff up here brushes makeup brushes some nail art stuff I haven't put anything in there yet that's just my mirror and then down here I have my main kind of makeup organizer not gonna go through everything because it'll take way too long but I just wanted to show you my new setup these polishes were sent to me um, by companies for collaboration I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with those and then we have uh, we have I already have to fix the lighting because we were trying to hold it up and it's just not working but that's okay trial and error so I have concealers here then I have a way big shadows but sorry if you hear anything in the background um, I have big eyeshadows back here back here and then I here I have just like eyeliner mascara that I use every day and some single eyeshadows. Then I have some Halo and Wonder, Wonder, AOA Studio, um, highlighter. Excuse me. Then I have some cheaper kind of. I think it's Beauty Concepts or Cosmetics. I don't remember which one. Um, random eyeshadows. Then I have Amuse eyeshadows back there. And then I have bronzers and pressed powders and things. Most of the stuff I just haven't even gotten into yet. Most of the stuff is Miss A. Eyebrow stuff. That right there is a Profusion eyebrow kit. And then I just love the way that these sit in. Oh, there's no lighting up here yet. But the AOE buttercreams fit so good in this acrylic organizer. Love the way that they look. Then I have some more highlighters in there. And then some Velvet Mousse Starry Shimmer Eyeline. Nope, eyeshadows from AOE. Here I just have some random makeup that I use every day. And then really quickly down here, I have face masks. A bunch of them. They're not just face masks. There's hair masks. There's stuff. Lip masks, I think, somewhere in there. Where? I don't know. Somewhere here uh, but anyways this is an eye mask lip mask and then back there makeup wipes makeup bags and then over here I have makeup brushes that are too big to fit anywhere else then down here I have just stuff that I couldn't fit anywhere else so there's kind of like a mixture of things in here so there's facial brushes in here then there's like a magnifying glass it's just I need look I already have stuff going all over the place guys but I need a better system and I will get them eventually. I want all acrylic organizers. And I don't really want these baskets. But maybe I'll keep some of them. But we'll see. 
for now, this is what I got, right? So this is what I'm going to work with. Sponges, makeup sponges, soaps. I think I have, those are cleansing, uh, cleansing pads, yeah. And then here I have blotting sheets. Here are shadow armor, eyeshadow, fallout patches from Away Studio, pedicure stuff, and yeah. So sorry for the noise in the background. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is what I'm dealing with. So if I back up, this is what it looks like. I know it looks crazy. But this is what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to record the organizational video for my drawers, take you along with me, clean all this stuff up so you guys can see the end result. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. I know I think that you liked watching my um, organizational... <laughs> organize what? Organizational. Let's get it. Let's get with it. Organizational videos. I know you guys like to watch them. But, um... Yes, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't. I'm sorry, I'm like trying to think and talk at the same time. It's not working out. I want, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you all so very soon. Let me know what you think of my new sort of setup. All right, I'm, I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Oh, no. I can't even speak. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon when this is all cleaned up. Comment down below, subscribe. Hit that notification so you can be um, notified every time I make another video. Did I tell you guys that I was going to maybe be sanding this? I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I think I should. Good idea. I think that I may might not happen today, but I'm definitely going to take this outside, probably spray paint it, let it dry maybe, or maybe just sand it really well. And even if the original wood color comes up, then I guess that is what it is. But until then, but because I, I really want to fix this already, because this is what happens when you get gel and or I can just try to clean it up really well. I have some sandpaper and I'm going to really, really sand it really, really well. I know that looks crazy, right? But until I get another table, that's what I have. The tables are really expensive. Really, really expensive. The nail tables are. And I tried to look for one and I couldn't believe the prices. So I said I'm going to stay with what I have. Maybe I will. Because this table was brown. This color. Was it this color? I think it was this color. Or a darker color. Right? As you can tell. Because we didn't paint all the way in here. Because now you guys are saying it. But I was going to say who looks in here. But, um, yeah, guys. I... Not gonna worry too much about the drawers for now, but at least if I can do the top for now, or find something to go on top. But I what I really wanted to do was put that contact paper here on the top, and then I then I could like write down notes if I'm like recording, excuse me, at the same time and write things down. I don't know. I just have a lot of thoughts in my brain. I am kind of DIYing the little flesh-like little pieces on my hand. I kind of wanted to spray paint them. Gold was really the only paint that I had, so I'm spray painting them gold. And we'll see how they turn out. I'm giving them time to dry. All right, guys, I am out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you all. And let me know what you think of my new, in my new area. <laughs> I'm not even tired. I think I'm too, just tired. of This is a lot. This is a lot. Organizing is something else. And I've been doing this all over my house, in my room, in drawers, now in this area. My next, um, and then I'm going to go back in my room because I want to rearrange my room. And so that's what I've been doing. But anyways, guys.